Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a penetration test with this Radical uh, AR-15. This has a seven and a half inch barrel. Uh, the barrel actually stops right here. Everything from here to here is, is basically a, a blast diverter um, because otherwise this gun is insanely loud uh, and, and really not pleasurable to shoot. So if you're gonna have a short barrel like this, you have to have a, a blast diverter or, or what they call a linear compensator. So this is a seven and a half inch barrel um, on the Radical AR-15 and I've talked about this gun before. Um, First, I wanted to do just a uh, an accuracy test, and I've tested this before. At 100 yards, um, I shot basically a six-inch group, okay, uh, which is pretty average. And this wasn't like I really wasn't trying that hard. I can see that you know I was like my red dot moved a little bit when I shot it. So I'm using the Anatoball red dot on this. Um, if I discount this shot over here, I have a five-inch group. Um, cause I, I'm pretty sure I threw that shot. So this rifle with the seven and a half inch barrel is going to group at, you know, you're going to get somewhere between five MOA to six MOA with it. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want to see if it would penetrate this steel rim at the 100 yards. Okay. Uh, now at the muzzle, this has 650 foot pounds of energy. Uh, as I have measured it, which is basically a high level 357 or, you know, like a hot 357 or a warm 44 Magnum. Okay. So, so, you know, this is a pistol in terms of power, uh, and I'm shooting it with the Remington 223. So I'm not using green tips or anything like that. So uh, what I wanted to know is at a hundred yards, would this, is this effective? I can see that. Yeah, I can hit my target. I can get, you know, somewhere between a a five to six inch group, but um, will the bullets, you know, like if somebody has, let's say a, uh, um, a a jacket and they got like, you know, a magazine pouch on front of them and let's say it's hitting like, you know, the, the you know, the, the magazines um, and it's deflecting off the bullets, will, will it penetrate? So at a hundred yards, um, I did a, I did, I shot about a total of 12 shots here and uh, most of them penetrated. All right, you can hold this close to you guys. So you can see most of them have penetration, okay? Some of them are like kind of like just barely penetrating. Some of them, there is a few that did not penetrate. So I got like, there is, let me see, let me count. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five that clearly penetrated. And then there's a few that like hit the edge over here. So clearly, you know, that kind of bent it in. And there's like one over here where it hit where it overlaps. So clearly, you know, because you're double, you're doubling up on the steel over here. That's not going to penetrate it. Um, so I'm, I'm getting decent penetration. Uh, not everything is going to go through. Like that one right there, where it hit it right on the curve, that didn't penetrate. Uh, it looks like the bullet twisted and it went in that way. Um, so a hundred yards is kind of the limit of the seven and a half inch barrel as far as you know penetrating light armor. Okay. Um, um, and, and the reason why I was interested in this is because, you know, with a, um, you know, with a 16 inch barrel, um, you know, I've actually been able to penetrate these steel rims, you know, all the way out, you know, past 200 yards, all the way out to 250 yards. Uh, but that's what a, what a standard length barrel. So, you know, when you go from, with a 16 inch barrel, when you go from, um, the muzzle, right, the muzzle, we have about, tw about 1200 foot pounds on a 16 inch barrel at a hundred yards we've already dropped to 800 foot pounds okay so so there's a significant drop there so with this seven and a half inch barrel which has 650 foot pounds um i haven't been able to measure but i'm estimating that a hundred yards we're probably down to about 300 you know 300 foot pounds of energy uh maybe 350 tops right 350 foot pounds of energy which is pretty much the same thing as a nine millimeter and I know that when I shoot these steel rims, just at 30 yards over there, the 9mm basically just bounces right off of it. It pretty much takes, just maybe takes the paint off of it. Um, it definitely, it, it, it almost never even dents it, okay? Uh, the 40, the, uh, the uh, 45 ACP maybe dents it sometimes, but 9mm nine, nine just, just takes the paint off of, this, off of these steel rims at 30 yards. So I was wondering at 100 yards, 
where this has the same energy, the same calculated energy more or less as a 9mm, um, if it would do the same thing, if it would just be bouncing off of this and just like leaving little scratches. Uh, and clearly, um, even though this has the same energy or about the same energy at 100 yards, clearly this is getting penetration or, or even where it's not penetrating, it's, it's getting really, really deep in there. Okay, um, so what that tells me is that the, the bolt construction really makes a big difference. The, the um, you know, the um, 223, you know, is obviously longer um, and it's, you know, it's 22% of an inch. So, every, so the force of the impact is concentrated on a more narrow area. And apparently that, that's making a pretty big difference here. Okay, because I'm, I'm getting, in some cases, I'm getting really nice penetration. In fact, I can see on the back here on a few of them, it came through and it actually hit the back and I can see some, there's a dent over there. Uh, you know, I, I can see there's, there's dents and some marks on the back of this rim as it actually is coming through. So in the cases where it came through, it, it has some good power to actually hit the back side of this. So um, this is definitely a 100 yard right, uh, pistol, AR or SBR, however you want to call this, uh, or uh, AR pistol. Definitely good for 100 yards. Uh, definitely happy with the six, six inch grouping that I get with this and, and I'm pretty happy with the level of penetration that I get with, with Remington 223. Um, obviously if I was using green tips I would get even better penetration. Um, so so that's, that's where it is. Uh, this is what this will do at 100 yards. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, for, for a seven and a half inch barrel, you know, I think that's pretty decent. So if you guys got any thoughts, any different ideas, any different opinions, please post them in the comment section. Uh, if you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.